I found you guys. I'm just here in my new spot. That sounds like a Ty Lopez. I'm just here in my new house, guys. Um, we gotta go swimming. You guys just got here, but we gotta go. This is my new place. I'll show it to you guys later. You get this sticker because you're such a cutie. Oh, thanks, Bill. Huh? I just love you. Huh? All right, you're starting off this Monday <laughs> winning, telling my girlfriend how cute she is. All right, I have triathlon training stuff. Um, I'm gonna go show you guys how I don't float. So this triathlon is really gonna suck for me. Yo, check these out though. Check like these out. Huh? I'm gonna swim in these. How's my last name on it? Is that really your last name? Without I thought you just wanted to be just James Bond. I was like, is it? I was like, that's awesome. So, rule number one, if you're gonna do a triathlon, is have the necessary gear. I'm all geared out. I'm, all, I'm doing all these different things to uh, make sure the reason I don't succeed, to make sure the reason, like there's no other reason that I can't succeed. Like I have everything, but it really comes down to I can't float. I've been watching videos on how to swim better because learn how to swim confident, float and be water safe. I'm like, oh, it's probably a good skill to have to float. Like it's one of the things I'm learning about. You have to be buoyant in the water. It's like buoyancy is one of the most critical things. So, where do I go? I go to YouTube to check it out. I thought, okay, easy enough. Put your face in the water, bring your knees up. Look, he's floating, he's floating. I'm like, okay, that's the first thing okay. I gotta learn how to do. Uh, now we'll stand there. This Guys, I've been using this triathlon coach, but I think that first things first, I gotta be able to float. We gotta go see, I can't float. So just like that video says, I come over here and I, I've already practiced my breathing. So I, I practice your know, breathing underwater and you know, you, to, be, to be buoyant, you, you know, you can hold your breath. So bring up a big breath of, you know, air into your lung cavity, go down. That's the first one they showed. The problem is, this is what happens when I try to do the mushroom float where I bring my knees up. <laughs> Let me try this again. <laughs> I don't float, guys. I don't float. Here we go. So I then watched a, a different video. It was like, well, actually just come out here, put your arms out, bend your knees, put your arms out and your legs back. Head goes under, but stay very, very still, like a, like a dead person. So we try that. So I don't know what the deal is. So until I meet with Frank this week, I'm just gonna say, floating's not my strong suit, which means I'm gonna have more drag in the water, which means I'm not gonna be that fast of a swimmer. That's why swimming's so dif difficult for me. But that's why I gotta learn how to be a better swimmer. So 20, 20 minutes in here today, I'm gonna practice really long strokes, practice 45 degree angle. Um, you know, before I wasn't turning my hips, Swimming all with my upper body. That's just wreaking havoc on my shoulder, so we can't have that. So I'm here today just to practice my stroke and figure out how I can float, maybe.
any better. All I know is I get tired super fast. Maybe I'll go take up the basketball court. I guarantee I could beat you in basketball, not swimming. One thing that I do know for sure is I'm decent at holding my breath. I just panic if I have to swim and hold it. Maybe that's why I'm not floating. I'm gonna swim all the way underwater, the whole way underneath on one breath. Can I just do that instead of the triathlon? Just like, oh, hey, I'll swim this whole thing or I'll swim 25 yards, meters underwater. Boom, good deal, we're done. Guarantee you I will not lose to my girlfriend. I have pee, she has nothing. The only girl I've ever lost to is my sister and my neighbor, Jenna Maffey. I can't believe you remember that. You guys, you're just gonna, you're just gonna shoot the same shot at this time? Huh? Yeah, you can shoot from anywhere for like five minutes. At least I hit the rim. I know, right? So I can shoot from anywhere? Yeah. Half court, but even like real half court, we got to Why? 
Wait, are you mad because I'm lost? I'm first for it. Oh, he's mad. He's an angry elf. What were your thoughts going through that last shot? My thoughts. That I just was very blessed to beat, beat Steve. I just feel great. I'm really proud of you. You did really good. Thanks, babe. Super supportive of my girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a house tour, but you guys have to go out first. So, go out and then come back in and pretend like we're doing the MTV crazy thing. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. All right, ready? And... Yo, welcome to my crib. We're in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. I just moved in a couple days ago. Yo, check out the pad. Came with this girl right here. <laughs> All inclusive. Got a kitchen, really kitchen area. It did sound kind of bad, I like it. <laughs> you know, like, pretty stock fridge, bunch of crystal, bunch of like, and by crystal I mean like, flax milk and cashew milk. <laughs> the sparkling water. Yo, we get turned up with the sunny sparkling water. All right, moving in. I still need a trash can. Um, <clears throat> pretty nice, so it came furnished. All of my stuff that I had in California is in a storage unit still. Hey, the ice. Oh, I'm sorry. We got an ice machine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It was super loud. I mean, I'm all here making some protein margaritas, so. I like that, babe. Stay happy. Living room, pretty standard. I will say this. I live in like this tree house. So for Arizona, got so much vegetation. It's light, it's bright, floor ceiling windows. Um, is anyone else like this? Like. Does anyone else have just cords on cords on cords? Today's schedule, this is gonna be my little office. As you can see, I can, I don't have a personal assistant that live, like, you know, that's actually next to me that does all this stuff. That's me for the most part. Um, good book, Relentless, Tim Grover. Shout out, Timmy G. <laughs> Timmy G, babe. All right, I'm gonna get it. And then outside, pretty standard. We haven't had any too many parties out here yet, but probably crazy. All I want to know is, how do they keep the vegetation like up on a patio? Pretty cool. Like I said, came furnished, made my life super easy. TV doesn't work yet, but we have internet. It's always a must for uploading these videos. Um, artwork is all done by me, really cool. Mass guest bathroom. If you guys come stay with me, you guys can go in there. You guys want to see it? Right now, actually, Courtney's using it as her bathroom because she still has her house in Gilbert. She still has a roommate, so she's pretty much there most of the time. So when she comes, this is her bathroom. Um, guest bedroom, also known as the Gymshark Lair. New Gymshark line right here. So, uh, I rep this stuff almost daily, I would say. I do like it. I got all my winter clothes in here because guess what? It's hot. It's like supposed to be 104 this week and it's beginning of May. Um, master bedroom. Yo, this is why I, I went with this place. I only want to live here for like six months and then I want to build my house or remodel, but this isn't too bad. So we got the master, master bath, nice. I don't want to let them see my colognes because those are, I don't want y'all smelling like me at Expos. And then, still got to put the closet together. Shout out MBT watches. MBMT watches. And then, bedroom. Koala bear, because I love Australia on the bed. Let's let some sunlight in here, huh? All right. That's my house in all its glory. 1,500 square feet right now in the heart of Scottsdale until the gym goes up. We should probably take you guys by the gym today. Let's do that. But this is definitely uh, better than sleep staying at your girlfriend's place living out of a suitcase.
So we've been training pretty much at local gym spots like Mountainside Gyms here, but I gotta go talk to Wells Fargo today because we are close, trying to close on a spot. It would be like uh, Via de Ventura and the 101. What, what are we gonna name this thing? The Mountain Spot? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Guys, we really need help with names because I don't really want to do just like Steve Cook Gym. I want something with like athlete in it. It's gonna invoke like just the best of everything. Like if someone can think of a really good one word name. Yeah, one word name. It's like Marika. Yeah, something like, like something that just that. sounds like it rolls like off that, the tongue. But not that. Yeah. Like that, but not that. I don't know. Some you guys, if you guys do that, I'll give you guys six months free at the gym. It's a oh, deal. Yeah. That's a good deal. Right? Yeah. And this gym's gonna be awesome. Like everyone's gonna be want to be a part of it. And we're gonna be like, uh, sorry, there's already maxed out members. I want to keep it like 250 members. Um, I had a good talk with Hayden, Hayden Schneider and Katie Harn. Did I say it better? And um, guys, it's, it's just blowing my mind with how cool. We already got a lot of the equipment. We're kind of starting to maybe lay it out how we want it. Office is there. I'm planning on being there if I'm in town. You're planning on being there if you're in town. Every day. Just don't look this guy in the in, in the eyes while he's lifting. We are gonna have a sign that says, you know, you you, you could be on camera. Probably a lot of you guys would be okay with that, but uh, no talking in between sets. Focus. Let's go sign a let's go sign a deal on a gym right now.